It's Earth's Interior with Dr. Unfortunate. Now tell me, have you ever wondered what's inside the Earth? Well, here's a picture. If you want a more dramatic one, here's another. And if you want an even more dramatic one, here you go. But I got something very evil up my sleeves. It's a diagram. <laughs> hey, I'm tired. Here, look at it. All right, let's zoom in. You got the crust, the lithosphere, the stenosphere, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. Six layers to the Earth's crust. Amazing. Yeah, well, that, that's great and all, but how, how do you expect us to get down there? Well, it's very simple, my friend. We use this, a giant drill. Boom, we're at the crust. Now, the crust, it's the thinnest layer. It can be 5 to 100 kilometers thick. It's less made of less dense compounds, I would say it's the thinnest layer. But the crust is so boring. No, it's not. I mean, look at that. An athlete. No, no, this is very boring. Please move on. Boom! Lithosphere. Oh, hey, I know about the lithosphere. The lithosphere is super rigid and brittle, just like your cookies. <laughs> ah, the astenosphere. I also know about the astenosphere. It's it's very plastic, like uh, uh, no, never mind. Why? All right, we're at the mantle. Wait, wait a second. Isn't the mantle one the one for the magma and the lava? Yeah. Uh, why? Is this a drill fireproof? Uh, wait. Wait, wait, do you smell something burning? Ah, there's fire! No! No, not the fire! Run! Run, go, go, go! Go to the next layer quickly! Boom! Outer core! Wait, wait a second, isn't the outer core also solid liquid? I, I hope it's not made of fire. No, the hole's even bigger! Ah, the pain! It's burning my toes! Run, run, wait, go, go, go! Oh, wait, wait, I know exactly how to fix this. Boom, problem solved. How does this sound? Okay, whatever. Inner core! We have finally reached our destination. Wait, it's it's a solid ball of iron. Dude, we wasted so much time. Wait, what is continental drift? Funny you should ask, because I got this chart. Well, you see, continental drift was opposed by this dude named Alfred Wagener. And it basically just means the continents were once smushed together in a place called Pangaea, and they all separated apart. And he used fossil records and tropical plants as evidence. <laughs> yeah. Alright, th that's great and all, but how, how did they actually spread apart? Also funny, you should ask, because I got this chart! It's called seafloor spreading. The heat from the asthenophere would rise up, become less dense, spread out, in both ways, this would then cause the oceanic crust to move out, but then once it got near the end, it would start cooling down, becoming more dense, and go straight back into the asthenosphere, creating a convection current path. Boom! Evidence of this is the mid-oceanic ridge. It's a giant crack that was caused from sea force flooding. 